So today I'll talk about a Kia with the P0342 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0342 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit low. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing, and it's seen an error inside of this, so it could be troubleshooting to know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a faulty cam sensor, it could be a loose wiring connection, it could be a short or an open in the wiring, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate sensor A, and it's, sensor A is going to be on the exhaust side. It's always on the exhaust side. Sensor B is going to be on the intake side, and there more than likely is going to be two cam sensors. There can be one in some cases, mainly on older Kias, but in more newer ones, there's usually two. And so this can vary a little bit depending on the model and the year and everything. But the first thing to go and do is locate sensor A, which will be on the exhaust side of the engine. And they'll be up on the top somewhere. Sometimes they're on the side over here, but they'll be on the top somewhere. And then once you locate it, the next thing to do is to go examine the wiring really good. Be sure that wiring connection's on there good, that there's no open shorts or anything like this. Because any open shorts, bad connections can cause the same symptoms as the bad sensor so you want to check that out be sure that looks okay and one thing to keep in mind about this is that there's going to be a fuse that controls this and it's usually inside the engine compartment there'll be a fuse box when you pop the hood off to the right there'll be a fuse box right there and sometimes there can also be a fuse up underneath the dashboard but it's usually in the engine compartment and this fuse can change and sometimes it can be named differently it'll just depend on the year and the model type i believe this is a 2012 kia soul and and it'll be labeled snsr3 it's a 10 amp fuse on this particular kia so this can change, it can vary a little bit depending on the year, the model and everything, but there will be a fuse and they're usually inside the engine compartment fuse box that controls this circuit and if it blows, then you won't get no power. So that's something to keep in mind. And so once you check out the wiring and that looks good and there's no blowing fuses or anything like that, then most people at this point would go ahead and swap out the sensor since it's a low cost part. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea what they're running. They're running ranging around 18 $15. So for around $20, you can get a new one. And swapping them out is pretty easy to do, really. They'll just have a little 10 millimeter bolt and have a wiring harness going on it. There will be a, a seal going around here that makes them a little bit hard to pull out. Not super difficult, but sometimes they could be a little bit hard. You have to be like a little screwdriver and pop them out. But at that point, they just pop out. You pop in the new one, put the 10 millimeter on, and put your wiring harness back on. And in most cases, doing those things will solve the problem. In some cases, it might get more and it might be inside of the wiring. And so if you do get into the wiring what's going on with it is that one of the wires is going to be a ground wire one of the wires is going to be a reference voltage that comes from the battery when the key is in the on position and then one of the wires is going to be a signal wire that goes back to the onboard computer and so what you could do is you get out a meter and you can put the key in the on position and you could check for one of the pins has reference voltage which can vary you'll always want to get schematics for your particular key uh, since there can be some differences but it'll be like 5 volts 9 volts 12 volts whatever it is It'll be coming from the battery when the key is on the on position. Then one of the wires will be ground, and one of the wires is a signal wire that goes back to the onboard computer. And what happens with these is that when there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor, it'll send a 5-volt signal back to the onboard computer that there's a piece of metal directly in front of it. There's some good videos out there on how you could test the wiring if, if you have to get more into it, but it's fairly easy to check once you understand that there's just some basic things going on. You just got power, you got a signal wire, and you got ground on those three pins, and they all just need to be checked and be sure that they're working properly. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0342 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.